Hello there, my name is Ajay Singh and I am a Marketing Cloud Developer. Today we will see how to build personalized emails using AmpScript. Digital marketing is changing and the need for highly personalized, relevant communication is greater than ever before. With shifting trends in digital marketing, the need to create and deliver sophisticated, personalized content can take a significant amount of effort, time and expertise. This is where AmpScript comes in. It's an extensive scripting language for Salesforce Marketing Cloud that enables you to create highly sophisticated, personalized content through an extensive set of functions. Unlike other general purpose languages such as JavaScript, Perl or Python, AmpScript is a server-side scripting language that has been developed for a specific runtime environment where scripts are interpreted and executed when the content is rendered. In this video, we are going to cover how you can build customer personalized email on the basis of their interest. So starting with what is exactly AmpScript? AmpScript is Marketing Cloud's proprietary scripting language for advanced dynamic content in emails, landing pages, SMS or push messages. AmpScript is executed in an HTML at the time of send. No processing or dynamic functionality occurs after the send. This expands the Marketing Cloud's functionality to help create the one-to-one -one personalized communication that are so coveted by digital marketers. What can be done with AmpScript? AmpScript can be used to pull information from a list or data extension into an email. AmpScript can be used to create content blocks using logics. AmpScript can be used to personalize content on the basis of subscriber or contact data. AmpScript can be used to add real-time information to emails such as date or time. AmpScript can be used to clean and format data. It can also be used to track impressions. And there are many more such things that can be achieved using AmpScript. So without a further ado, let's jump into demo and see what we, how we can you know, personalize emails using AmpScript. Okay, so for the demo, I have two data extensions with me. Uh, one data extension is that will be used for sending where I have stored the customer's email address, their name and their address. And the next data extension that I have with me is the preference, uh, which uh, what interest the customer exactly has. And you know, I'm going to use and leverage these two data extensions and personalize my emails. So out of these two, this particular data extension will be my sending data extension. And this is where I'll be referencing what is their interest and I'll be showing them content as per their interest so for this thing one thing that needs to be kept in mind is that you know we need to have one field which is common for both the data extensions so in our case we have customer id which is common for both the data extensions all right now jumping to the email i have built a simple email where we'll see how you can personalize the content so starting with the email uh, i have uh, put a header over there and a simple hero image and next what I've done is I've simply used uh, person person and first name uh, which is pretty simple uh, for an AMP script uh, it's an inline uh, what you would call inline personalization next what we are doing is we are writing a small AMP script function where we are specifying that uh, we are going to capture the customer ID and we are storing it in uh, interested product and next what we are doing uh, what we are doing is we are looking up the customer preferences data extension where the preference of each and every customer is stored and the name of the column that we will be referring to on what basis we are referring to we are uh, referring on the basis of customer id and where does it look for value it looks in an in interested product and this is where we have captured the interested product and next what we are doing is we are showing them a small personalized message that we saw you are interested in uh, dash product check out the product below and below what we have done is uh, we have simply put an again an script function where we are again looking up the same data extension and we are you know as per their interest we are you know bringing the value and showing them so if the interest is cricket then we'll show them this particular image if the interest is football then we'll show them this particular image if the interest is rugby then we'll show them this particular image and if the customer does not fall in any of these we'll obviously show them a default image so this is what uh, how we have you know personalized our email let's see it in action so as you can see I have 
choose my sending data extension as customer sending information. I'll choose any of the contact. So let's see the first contact over here, Harshit has what should be viewed. So we have simply personalized, hey Harshit, let's catch up on the sale. We saw you're interested in cricket and there we go. We are showing him and or we are promoting a product that is specific to his needs or his interest. Next we'll see for uh, Rahul. So over here we can see that Rahul Vashno has an ID as 101 and at uh, our preferences data extension against that corresponding customer ID against that 101 we have football. So hence Rahul is being suggested football product. So over here you know we use AMP script to populate this particular part and we are showing him a relevant product image. Similarly uh, for 102 we are showing rugby. Uh, since that particular person is interested in rugby and this is the best part since this particular lead or contact uh, does not has any interest value corresponding to it so 103 is currently empty uh, he or she may, may not have any contact associate or uh, interest associated with him or her then we'll be showing him a default fallback image that is this so this is how we can use AMP script to you know uh, personalize content and deliver a great experience to user. Uh, that is all. Thank you so much. Happy learning.